what do you say exactly? Yes. Yes, I am a gym leader of this town. You are... Right, you want to challenge the gym. In that case, what was the first Pokémon you chose? Snivy, I see. It's weak against Fire-type Pokémon. I think you need to prepare to face that type. For example, try training your Pokémon in the Dream Yard. Uh, please excuse me now. Alright, sure, the Dream Yard. Hello. Yeah, seven trainers train themselves and their Pokémon in the Dream Yard. You might think about going there. It could be you'll find something. Everybody keeps hinting at this. Is this like a local thing? They they have like helpful stuff set up over here because it's over this way, right? This is, that's what this says. Yeah, um, it even says a place for novice trainers. So I'm assuming the people in this town set this place up to be helpful for novice trainers, since this is the first gym of the region, right? Let's head over here. Hello. We we are training here. Now let's train Pokemon together. All right. If by train Pokemon here together, you mean I'm gonna kick your butt, then yeah, sure. Another one of those cats. I'm not seeing a lot of variety in the Pokemon here so far. Let's, uh, Vine Whip. Solid damage, not bad. Levels here are pretty good, so I, 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 I could see me getting some good training from this area. Come on, get it. And that'll knock it out. Fantastic. Did she have any more Pokemon? Level 11. Very nice. Another Purloin. I will switch then to Jasper since he's fallen behind a little bit. Come on. Just takes a second longer than I expected to. That animation. And tackle it. Boom. Very nice. Jasper's gonna be my heavy hitter for the entire early game, I, I can already tell. Very nice. He almost leveled too. Great, you have a talent as a trainer. Yeah, I know. Thanks for reminding me. Um, it's a place that requires cut. That's a little annoying. And a place that requires strength. That's also annoying. Also, can we talk about how, when they started going to the more three-dimensional games like this, strength became that, where you just slot a boulder into a nearby hole? Can we talk about how how much less interesting that was than the old version of strength? And by talk about it, I mean I'm going to bitch about it for a couple seconds and then move on with my life. Switch these guys real quick. Try not to keep misclicking. And, um, hello. Battle me, please. And my goal is to outperform gym leaders. Can you win against me? Pretty sure I can. Don't even... <coughs> Excuse me. Don't even really think it's a question. Youngster Joey! He's followed me all the way here to make another challenge. Disguised as a local youngster. The most insidious rival of all. Nah, it's probably just just but just a different guy with a similar name, right? There we go. Oh, he's got a lily pup. That's different than pat rats. Still a low level though. Yeah, that battle was a little tedious. Not not awful, but a little, a little tedious. Yeah, they fought fine. Not not like gym leader fine, but. Fine. You a trainer? Give me this. Okay. Really? Is there not any grass I can get to yet in this entire area? Well, that's annoying. I thought for sure that I could. Oh, shoot. Alright. What do you say? Hey, hey, you, what was your first Pokemon? Snivy, really? Then Panpour could be a big help. What's a Panpour? Sure, give me a Panpour. No. Yeah, thanks. Um I don't I don't want Panpour though. Like I don't hate the, the elemental monkeys or anything. 
and it's neat that they give you kind of a second starter before the first gym. But I just, I do not care about paying for it all. Um, so I'm going to go into someone's PC. And I am going to take this pan pour, which doesn't have a terrible move set actually, and I'm going to put it over there, and I'm going to leave, and I'm going to heal up, and I'm going to switch to put my starter out first, and then I'm going to head into this gym. Okay. It's a restaurant. That's interesting. Yeah, well, I'm Clyde. I'm the guide for trainers challenging a Pokemon gym. I wish you, we appreciate your challenging the gym. Take this to commemorate the occasion. Now, fresh water. Thank you. I'm sure that'll be delicious. Okay. Okay. Oh, do I have to stand on the one that's super effective against it? Oh yeah, that makes sense. Because this, this gym is all about type effectiveness. Which is interesting. It's an interesting concept for a gym. This gym isn't based on a specific type. It's based on type effectiveness. You a trainer? Yeah, okay. Hey, welcome to Striden Gym. Hey, I care for a taste of battle. I'll serve up the first course. Okay. Got two Pokeballs on the platter, but only one actual Pokemon. That's neat and weird. Remember in the anime when Ash, like a complete idiot, demanded to fight all three of the gym leaders at this gym instead of just the one that he was supposed to? Because he's a freaking idiot. I will not be doing that because I am not an idiot. This thing is not taking nearly as much damage as I would like it to, though. Let, let's, uh, let's, uh... Try a little harder to beat it, please. My little lull there was weird. Get it! Knock it out! Okay, cool. So if I remember correctly, and this would be Hero's guess as well, Wow, you're a trainer with a lot of... Did he say pepper? I didn't catch the last word, but it looked like pepper for this half second I saw it. Uh, Mike, if I recall correctly, and this would be Hero's Gas too. Uh, medicine. It's 50, that's just 20, I'll just use that for now. Um, these guys use normal type Pokemon and then finish with one that's strong against the challenging trainer's starter. So that's why I have my starter first, so that I, I can lead with him, fight against their normal types with him, and then mop up with a Pokemon that's not weak to whoever their ace is, if that makes sense. Can I, like, sneak around behind this person? No? All right. Well, let's go then. In the specialty of Stratton Gym, the full course Trainer Deluxe. I'm the second course. Shouldn't talk about yourself like your food. That's a little weird. Like a, like a, like a kinky thing. Now she has one Pokeball in her sprite, but she has two Pokemon. How weird. Alright, let's, um... I was gonna say let's whip her. I'm gonna use Vine Whip, but that, that also sounds kind of kinky. So, I'm... Um, Gonna pretend like I didn't have that thought. Keep hitting it, come on. Oh, it's biting. That's fantastic. Hmm. Let's leer at it. It is going to return some damage, though. Which sucks. I don't think it'll be enough to knock me out. Yeah, it still did pretty good, though. Can I knock it out with one more hit now? Let's find out. Yep, alright, good. Like, Bide isn't really a good move, 
but it is a very annoying one, right? Purloin, okay. Yeah, let's switch. Let's switch to Jasper. I've been trying to train Slither more than everybody else, because, like, so far, at least, this has been, like, one of the first times where my starter is, like, objectively weaker than my other guy, right? But, um... I kind of just want to get through this battle at this point. Get it. Very nice. And he'll actually level from that. Yeah, good. Good job, Jasper. Let's learn Helping Hand. What does he have? Helping Hand is slightly more use for, useful than Odor Sleuth, so I'll get rid of Odor Sleuth. Yep, learned Helping Hand, like I told him to. And that was one of our most... <laughs> no idea what she said, because it disappeared immediately. Right, let's go in here. I mean, I just leave and heal. I'm pretty sure I can do that. But I don't like to do that. Yep. And then this one would be fire. Okay. Welcome to the Stride in City Pokemon Gym. Oh yeah, there's he's got clones, differently colored clones. I'm chilly. I light things up with fire type Pokemon. I'm a water type specialist. My name is Cress. Pleased to make your acquaintance. And my name is Silen. I like grass type Pokemon. Uh you can see. And as for why the three of us, um, are all here, is, well, er, uh, oh, enough, listen up. The three of us will decide whom you'll battle. It'll be based on the type of the first Pokemon you chose. Okay, so the first Pokemon I chose was water type. The first Pokemon I chose here was grass type, though. Yeah, that is indeed the case. And uh, the partner you first chose was grass type, it seems. Uh, Ta-da! The fire type Scorcher Chili. That's me. You, you said that already. We'll be your opponent. Yep, I gathered. And I'm going to save real quick. Because I can do that now. And I'm going to give berries to my guys. Even though, if I'm not mistaken, um, the, the guy I'm fighting doesn't the fire type monkey have. Oh, right, I need to give. Um, doesn't have incinerate, and won't that just burn up the berries? I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, I'm kind of feeling like maybe... I'm gonna give that other berry to... I'm gonna just feed it to Slither to heal him up the rest of the way. Um... I'm kind of wishing I'd train a little bit more, because I'm actually getting kind of nervous about this. Um, save again real quick. Because I, I did things. Yep, alright, cool. Uh... Yow! Yeah! Time to play with fire! I'm the strongest of the brothers! Yeah, I'm actually, um... Gonna go out on a limb and say that you and your brothers are actually equally powerful. Okay, am I right about this guy's lineup? Two guys, and starts with a lily pup. Okay. Okay. I should be faster than it is, which is which is which is good. Um, so let's actually leer a couple of times, soften it up a little bit, so that I'm doing good damage. Bite, interesting. And let's put a let's actually put a wrap on it first while I'm leering. And I am probably going to use potions here. Oh, it's got work up. Isn't work now that I think about it? Isn't work up their gimmick move? That could be problematic. Workup's a pretty good move, too. As if that could work on my... It's literally working on your Pokemon. Um, Workup's a pretty good move, too. Like, it's not as good as, as like, Nasty Plot or Swords Dance or something. But especially early game? Um, yeah, you eat that berry, Slither. Um, especially early game? Um... Interesting. Um, that's gonna suck. So this, this guy's whole team is kind of about 
screwing you over if you use berries. Okay, so Charon gives you those berries. And then it's got pickup, and then if I'm, again, if I'm not mistaken, his ace has incinerate, which will burn up your berry. So Charon gives you those berries just to wait for you to waste them, basically. Um, what was I saying? Oh, especially early game, before you really have as much say in um, how you set up your Pokemon's moves. A lot of Pokemon are going to be mixed attackers, right? Screw you, man. Um, so having a move like Workup on a Pokemon is actually really solid. I'm going to heal up too, I think. Because I think I might um, leave Slither out at the start of the battle with the, his ace and try to get off a Leer, maybe? Shoot, it's doing so much damage to me, though. If I heal one more time... I only have the one other potion, though. Can I get to a point where it won't de deal quite that much damage? This is a bad call, anyway, because his, his ace is just going to wipe me out with one hit either way, isn't it? Alright, just do it. It's fine. Okay. I ain't leveled from that. That's not bad. Growth, okay. Interesting. Doesn't that just... Yeah, attack and special attack. So it's just work up for, for my guy. Shoot, I was just talking about using Leer on his ace. So I don't want to get rid of Leer. Get rid of Tackle then, I guess? Even though Tackle's like my only neutral move. <laughs> that was a stupid idea. Panseer. And now I'll keep battling. I'll try. I'll try to beat it. It's not over yet. One more left. Something, something. Weird. It's using work up. Okay. So I, I might have a little bit of time then. To get, get a couple leers off. And this is going to suck when I do switch to Jasper, because it's going to do massive damage to Jasper. But da Jasper should also do massive damage to it then. And Rap will go away when I'm knocked out, won't it? So there's no point in really using that, except to try to damage it. But it doesn't really do much damage, so that's not even worth it. Keep going. Try to get his defense down as low as possible. It's just working up, which is gonna... It, it's faster than Slither, which means it's probably gonna be faster than Jasper, too. If it gets six workups off, that's gonna be it. Jasper is just gonna go down. Let's see how much this does. This is annoying, though, that he's got a setup move at the first gym. That the first gym leader has a setup, and yeah, that did nothing. Okay. Great. Keep going, I guess. Is that six now? That feels like six. Keep hitting it. Keep trying. Got it down by almost half. There's the incinerate, okay. And if, again, if I'm not mistaken, that burns up berries. So the fact that I gave Jasper a berry isn't even going to matter, because even if he survives this attack, the berry is just going to get burned up. That's just great. If he survives the attack. I don't even think he will at this point. Nope. Interesting. So... I'm just going to take the loss. Yeah, thanks. Um, and I'm going to le go level up my guys a couple more levels. I don't I don't I don't have the freaking berries anymore, which sucks. But um I am going to actually do what she suggested and buy a couple more potions too. Yeah. Let's go like 6 this time. Yeah. And then I'm going to go level up my guys a couple more times. 
so that hopefully their speed will at least be on par with that freaking uh, Panseers, right? Are you a trainer? Stop running from me. Yeah, I know how ATM works. Thanks for telling me, though. Are there, like, hidden items around here or anything? Are there any trainers throughout here? Oh, seriously? <sighs> seriously? So I'm gonna have to go back and train against the weaker guys? Fine. Alright, this is taking way too long. It is that thing I mentioned that other time about... about how terrible the XP gain is in this game. Like, I've fought, like, seven guys, and, um... And, um... That's as much XP as as Slither's gotten. It was like it was like the bar wasn't even empty when I started. I like I've gotten may maybe half of that from battling like seven guys on this route. Um, so I'm gonna go spend all my money on Pokeballs and potions, and then grind against the gym leader. Actually, this time through I uh, I did growths on Slither, and I guess I made him nervous. Because he abandoned using workup pretty early on. So maybe Jasper will actually stand a chance of beating it this time. He's still going to be slower, which sucks. How much will that do with just, I think, one workup? Less than half. Okay, that's, he's going to heal at this point, though. Or not. Okay, can I knock it out, though? I can. Okay, never mind. That was a little anticlimactic. Came here to grind against the gym leader. The very first time I came here to grind against the gym leader, I beat him. You got me. I'm burned out. Yeah? Whoa! You're on fire! I mean, not literally, because I imagine you'd notice if you were. But anyway, uh, it's the gym. It's the Pokemon League's rule that you take this gym badge, dear God. And it's got the three colors in it, which is very cool. Yeah. Beautiful. Put it in my little badge case that I have somehow. A trio badge. Uh, gym badges are proof of a trainer's abilities. If you have one badge, Pokemon, including... Yeah, thanks. Great. And I get workup. Okay, cool. Is this the first game where you could use TMs as much as you wanted? Special attack. Yeah. By the way, TMs can be used as many times as you want. Fantastic. Uh, I'm going to save the game real quick, and then I actually have to step away for a second, unfortunately. Alright, sorry about that. Let's, uh, head out of here then. So, um, uh, way less challenging than I was making it out to be. Still, he beat me the first time, which is rare. To be, to be fair, I didn't utilize all the resources the game gave me, though. That's entirely on me. Hey there, I'm Fennel. Professor Juniper asked me to give you something. Please follow me. Okay. Was this a useless thing? It might have been a useless thing. Uh, you're going to uh, meet all of the Pokemon in the universe region, am I right? Probably not, uh, but, you know, I'll, I'm going to try. Uh, the stairs are right here. Are they? I wouldn't have noticed. My room is upstairs here. Go on upstairs. Okay. okay. So, like I said, I'm Fennel, and as you can see, I'm a scientist. In fact, the subject I'm researching is trainers. That's a little weird, but sure. Professor Juniper is my friend from college. Now, she asked me to help you guys. Uh, so, now I'll give you something uh, to help you. This is a hidden machine for you. Oh, okay, that is actually useful. Thank you, I appreciate that. Now, there are some moves that a Pokemon could use even when it's not fighting. Yeah, I know. Yep, I know what cut is, it's fine. Uh, but it's uh, difficult to make a Pokemon forget a hidden move once it's learned it. And I'd like to ask you a favor, too. There's a place called the Dream Yard on the outskirts of Strider. Yeah, I've been there already. And I'd uh, like some of the Dream Mist that a Pokemon called Mana gives off. And with that, I'll be able to use GameSync to collect save files of various trainers. Okay. I mean, I guess I could go out there. Um, let me think about this for a second. I mean, I guess the, the only Pokemon I could really give cut to would be Slither, right? I don't like that. But, um... 
kind of have to do it, right? And yeah, I guess I catch somebody else just to give them cut, but I'm gonna need cut throughout the whole game. So, mm, do I really need wrap? Like, I like having the residual damage, but do I really need it? Cause I like having these two moves to soften people up and power myself up, right? I'm never gonna get all all twelve of them off though before I get knocked down. Just drop. Oh, that's that's the wrong button. Dear God. Just get rid of Leer for it. That should be fine. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Um, head out of here. So we got the badge. I can use Cut now, right? Which means now I can go investigate the Dream Yard a little more properly. Alright. Let's um, get through here. Yep. Oh, dang it. Come on, man. Hi, Hero. Are you looking for the mysterious Pokemon, too? I mean, I guess. Are we talking about Mana? Both talking about Mana? Sh sure. What does that sound? Hey! Did you hear a sound coming from the other side of the wall? Come on, let's go see. I was gonna. Anyway. Um, yeah, there's a Mana right there. Hey, Mana. Moon. Oh, wait! Oh, great. We found you, Mana. Yeah, come on, come on, make some Dream Mist. Um, huh? Who are you? What are you doing? Are you talking about us? We're Team Plasma. We battle day and night to liberate Pokemon from foolish humans. And what are we doing? As a Pokemon Mana and Musharna a mysterious vapor called Dream Mist, which shows people dreams. We're going to use that to make people want to release their Pokemon. And we'll show them dreams to manipulate their hearts. Oh, so you're going to abuse this Pokemon in the name of Pokemon Liberation. I'm not even, I don't, I'm not even listening to you anymore. Fuck off. What hypocrites. Screw these guys. Huh. I find it interesting that you have a Pokeball with a Pokemon in it. Let's use a growth. Get my attack up a little. Yep. I did practically nothing, which is good for me. Spank this thing. Come on. One more growth, I think. What's it gonna do now? Leer. Alright, sure. Waste your turn. That's fine with me. And this should do it. Beautiful. And that levels me, which is excellent. Our beautiful dream! Screw off, man. I don't even give a shit anymore. I will I will not... From this point forward, I will not be giving these guys the benefit of the doubt anymore. Uh, were you not uh, taking them seriously because they're kids? Well, whatever, I'm next. Yeah, okay. Don't mind spanking two of you guys one after another. I like this, this theme music. It's very nice. Let's go, Slither. And, um... Just go right into the Vine Whips this time, I think. How much does that do? Yeah, pretty good. Two more should do it. It won't be able to knock me out with a single hit, so I win. And that could be a problem, but I don't think so. I think we're fine. Get it. Oh, nope, I, I missed, actually. Well, that sucks. Please stop. Come on. Seriously? This is, this is certainly a lot of fun. Alright, keep going. Eventually we'll break through. There we go. Good good job, Slither. Could have just switched to Jasper and been fine, but you know. Oh, this is a nightmare! Yeah, screw off. Before I sick my Pokemon on you personally. I can't believe we lost. 
But we have to obtain the Dream Mist. And so you keep kicking the Pokemon? You don't have any Pokemon left to protect you and you're still kicking a Pokemon in front of me? You guys have balls, I'll give you that much. Knock it off! And what are you two doing goofing off? What? Uh, we Team Plasma shall separate Pokemon from foolish people. What? If you cannot fulfill your duties. Uh, this isn't... Uh, gets us when he's gathering followers. Or gets us when he's trying to control people by tricking them with speeches. Uh, yeah, this is gets us when a plan has failed and he's about to issue punishment. At any rate, let's hurry. <coughs> and say we're sorry so he forgives us. All right. What just happened? Char. And what was that just now? That person god gets has appeared all over the place and he wasn't real, right? Could it have been a dream? In that Pokemon? Oh. I could wait, so I came over. Is that Musharna? Musha? Muni. Okay. Did something happen? Oh, Fennel. Well, you see, Mana was here, but then uh, Team Plasma and Mana and Musharna came, and it showed us something like a dream, and then Team Plasma? I think I followed that. Uh, see, Musharna evolves from Mana, uh, so seeing Mana in trouble, it used its power making dreams into reality to save Mana. Okay, maybe it did. Maybe that was an illusion created by Dream Mist, so technically a dream. They made it seem like he was in more than one place at once to scare his guys off, or maybe that wasn't even him? Are we supposed to assume that wasn't even him? I guess that makes sense. Because wouldn't he have run us off too if it were really him? I don't know, that's weird. Which means, wait a second. Is this dream mist? Yeah, with this, I can complete my research. You do come to my house later, okay? Not gonna happen, man. Phew. How random was that? Hey, Hero, why don't you go to Fennel's house? Me? Well, I'm going to look for the Pokemon we saw just now. Okay, um, I'm not doing that. I don't care about her dream thing. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna explore this area some more, but I'm... <sighs> Seriously? Seriously? run away from you because I don't even care. Um, I'm probably going to actually end the episode right around here. Again, it might be a little short. It might be a little shorter than I'd like it to be. But, um, please stop running into things now, Hero. Um, okay. I guess I can't go around that side of the hole. Um, but this seems like a good stopping point, right? Our first battle with uh, somebody who's declaring themselves Team Plasma, anyway. Uh, it seems like a pretty good place to stop. So, um, I hope you guys are still enjoying the Let's Play, because I definitely am. Um, I also want to double-check that I can get a specific Pokemon in this area this early th in, the, in the playthrough. Because if so, I'm going to spend some time Pokemon hunting here. Um, in the meantime, though, until the next episode, this has been AJ22, and I will talk to you guys later.